there is something that you have been working on for a long time and um, you've had to put all of your effort into this thing and you feel like it's never gonna bear fruit or give you what you need from it the the situation i don't know if this is a relationship or a job or a business but you have changed as a person as a result of doing this thing or going through this thing and my throat closes right now so something here with um speaking or getting your message across or um, really working on yourself, like a lot of inner work here um, to help your own self-esteem and to, um, this also could be, I always get music in like my channeling, but specifically I always get guitar. I always see a guitar. I always hear a guitar like when I'm channeling, like I literally specifically hear, hear a guitar and somebody singing. And um, I also get the mental picture of like, you know how, okay, this is like so crazy. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my gosh, Steema's channeling again and she's like going off into space. Okay, so I'm getting this mental picture of, um, you know, Justin Bieber before he like rose to fame, right? So he was sitting with his guitar outside on some steps, like outside of a church, I believe. And um, people were giving him money, you know, in his hat. <laughs> or something like that and um like that's so insane because you know apparently like nobody wanted to sign him uh they thought he was too young his voice was too high pitched like they didn't see him as a fit for anything not for disney not for nick like nothing and um and then uh scooter braun discovered him right i believe and then he got signed to usher and all that all that stuff so like it was through YouTube. It was through YouTube that he got discovered. That's so crazy interesting because I'm getting that if you just, you're almost there. Like, there's something that you want, okay, man, for whoever this is resonating with. There's something you want. Again, I have no idea what this is. This could be a marriage, a relationship, a business, a project, something stable, something stable, something with stability that, like, will leave a legacy or will leave, um, something lasting you know and um like you again my throat is like really going through it right now as i'm getting this message out you maybe suffered a lot um in order to get here um you had to change as a person you had to leave people behind you had to um heal from people leaving you behind because you were changing um you also uh, had to work really hard on developing your mind I'm getting uh, studying is here lots of studying of something um, but these are subjects that like like multiple different subjects that like connect and I'm seeing you have no idea <laughs> oh my gosh I'm seeing like um, if you've ever seen how neurons fire like under a microscope um, then you'll know what I'm talking about it's it's a uh, really electric like it happens um like instantaneous just the way that it happens is like so insane because like if you've seen a thought form you know like scientifically like it's so crazy how it happens and it just looks really insane so that's what i'm seeing so <laughs> that's like the seed of creation you know um and like i'm getting here that your mind has expanded like your consciousness has expanded and um you literally become somebody different through the process of all the stuff you had to go through um you, like and also sometimes you may think i'm just getting this you may think to yourself why did i have to go through all of that you know but you had to you had to i i'm getting that you purposefully like dove down to like rock bottom like purposefully um you like went down oh my gosh <laughs> like uh like for real it's almost as if you like tied a weight to your ankle and you like jumped in the water you know what i mean in the ocean and um for some reason i'm getting this scene from aladdin if you've seen aladdin i love aladdin aladdin is my favorite disney movie ever um <laughs> so he was like pushed over the palace walls and he had like a weight like tied to his ankle by jafar 
um, interesting. And the genie saved him when he was in the water. He, he was sinking. And he used his hands to like rub the magic lamp. And the genie had no choice like to use one of his wishes. He had to use one of his wishes, you know? And so I'm getting that like you almost, like something almost maybe even took you out um, in some way. It could be spiritually, financially, um, mentally, you know, uh, physically, hopefully not, but, you know. And something saved you. Obviously, we know who, right? God, universe, source, creation. Uh, but the way that... the Because when the genie saved Aladdin, he like rose up like quickly um out of the water and like super high up even into the sky so like you are being catapulted and i always get this message i always i always get this message from like you are (laughs) because of how far you sank um you are gonna be able to like an elevator like you're gonna like quickly go up you know um, but I'm getting that you've seen this already and you're like, you've already begun the process of rising again. Um, and so it's just like, it, it's just like one more, uh, one more step, you know? Um, so until you reach, because like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'm getting a lot of information because like that was, um, you're like in the middle that was aladdin's like second wish right so he had one more wish left after that and he used his last wish to like set the genie free he did all the grit work all the hard work up until the end of the movie from the point that he drowned so like he didn't use his last wish until the very end to set the genie free his last wish was compassionate you know um and same for you like you're not going to need to be saved. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to be able to save yourself. And you've been, you've been, you've been trained up for this. Like, you've been practicing how to save yourself, like, over and over. And um, for some of you, like, at, at one point, you thought someone else should come in and save you. Like, you thought the answer lied outside of yourself. Um, like, in a person or a relationship or a job or even therapy, I'm getting. Um or like maybe even books or something or like you you study uh you know quantum stuff or like uh spirituality which is really cool and really helpful as well but i think over this process you learned that like you have the ability to save yourself you know because of what you've been practicing you've been practicing saving yourself like without even knowing it like the hard stuff was the practice yo that's amazing the hard stuff was you practicing and now you have the ability to um, use what you have learned. Like, that's priceless. I cannot. That's priceless. Because what you gain from pain are life skills that are insurmountable. Like, you gain wisdom that is, like, off the charts. And you have the ability to cope with stuff in life. You know, you're not, like, down and out when things happen. And um, you can even help others with your um, stories, you know, with your experience. So I want to say congratulations uh, to you. And I also want to say that you're near, you're super near to the end of the movie or like your last wish. And you're not going to need to like use it on yourself. You know, for some of you, this is financial success. This is abundance that is coming in. You think, or it's going to look, there we go. It's going to look like it's out of nowhere. Like to other people, it's going to look like it's out of nowhere, but it's not. Um, You know the hard work that has happened behind the scenes. You know what it's taken for you to get to this point. You have protected your mind and heart um, along with the divine. Like the divine has protected you and you have allowed it, you know. Um, And you know what to do it's like you're always guided you know you're always led like you know where to go you know even i'm getting who to talk to who not to talk to um stuff like that uh you know where to go to get stuff as well and this is like also um astrally or like in the ethers or like (laughs) from a quantum level like i'm seeing this um you know where to go which is insane. Like, if you can travel interdimensionally, uh, consciously, 
right like you have control over where you're going like you are a magician you know you are literally like a, a master uh energy worker and oh, i can't you guys have no idea i'm like sitting looking outside of my window something just flew in the air and it looked like a it would look like a firework right but then it went down um and like kids have been screaming all day like i live in a place where like kids just literally surround me like <laughs> and they're like doing something over there and so i think that's what that was oh there it is again yeah it's like some sort of like red purple light thing that someone's like tossing up in the air um but um when i just said like quantum traveling uh i saw that zip of light <laughs> you know and so like you may have the ability to like go in and out of realms by the way we all do we just don't know that we're doing it once you become aware of the fact that you can slip in and out of states of consciousness that makes you a wielder of energy and then you understand your position as a mage or a magician and you can um begin to use your tools effectively um to go ahead and manipulate yourself you know what i mean um so that you can begin to change circumstances so um i'm getting that you may have uh, skills related to that you may know how to do that right um this is like the ultimate form of meditation um if you don't know how to do this i highly recommend you look into it um you can also for sure um you know ask for my assistance i do have coaching and stuff but um yeah it's really interesting that the hard stuff has built you to be who you are because without everything you went through you wouldn't be the person that you are today without all the life experience that you have had you wouldn't be who you are and i think that who you are is the most precious gift that you know no one can take from you you can lose your money you can lose your um you can lose everything you can even lose your identity and you can lose your sanity you can lose everything right but your life experience you don't lose that you don't lose that you know you you never lose it and i'm not talking about the pain or the memories even i'm talking about the experience the the molding of the soul you know it goes deeper than any conscious um realization of life it goes much deeper um you know, it has to do with the soul's like expansion and all this stuff is registered in the subconscious mind, by the way. Um, and it comes out through our reality. Um, so like in different ways, you know, that's why I focus on abundance, guys, you know, focus on abundance. Like when I say abundance, like focus on music that feels good, focus on the sun on your face, focus on fruit that tastes good, focus on any food that tastes good, any food, like literally, like <laughs> i believe in eating what you love and i love food so much and like <laughs> food really makes me personally very happy so like if you can just find things in your life that make you happy do them follow them you know um indulge indulge in them like honestly because that will bring you states of happiness and when we are in states of happiness we attract wealth to us um wealth is health and good times and you know um knowledge as well that's what i mean when i say wealth please don't think of money because i don't think like a normal person and i don't think of wealth as just being money money is just a another component of it that's it um so i'm very proud of you you've done a lot more work than you think you're almost at the end of the movie i'm getting one more step i'm hearing one more step one more, they're almost there they're almost there and this is collective energy yeah so me, me as well like i'm included in this um one more step it's like you just have to like reach your foot out and step i don't know what is that the mental step the physical st it, it's action oriented for sure but it's something only you know so that's what i had for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this channeled message if you did leave me a comment down below letting me know if you resonated with it go ahead and like this video if you liked it i love you guys so much stay tuned for more videos like this and i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace